to start. All right, good morning. It's Friday, 26 January, 2024. Um, and yeah, no announcements today. So let's jump straight in. We'd love to hear how the week was, any blockers and yeah, any reflections from the team, from the, not the team, but the trainee team on uh, how the process has been so far and what we're looking forward to for next week. So we're gonna cover everybody today. So who wants to go first? Mubarak? Hello, everyone. Can you hear me now? Yeah, very well. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, my side, uh, we are uh, doing good uh, and we are uh, experimenting uh, two models, uh, separating with groups. Uh, and even uh, we are trying an, uh, another model tokenizers and we also trying to build ours and uh, we plan to compare how they perform. Even though we are doing this, uh, Yesterday night, we we lost our server, and uh, when I talk to my uh, colleagues, most of the groups uh, are facing same problem. Uh, that's the uh, the one the block the blocker we faced. What do you mean you lost your server? What does that mean? Uh, we can connect to the server uh, while we were uh, using the server. Uh, it's uh, it it tries to reconnect, but we can't connect to the server. And even though uh, we activated it to through Tenex platform, it says activated successfully. But when we try to connect to the server, it says timeout error, and we can't reach it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you asked anyone for support? Uh, when I see Yababal reply on Slack. Uh, I mentioned him uh, recently. I hope it will answer us. Okay, but so I mean, you, you shouldn't necessarily need to ask Yababel only. So Yababel is uh, there to help. You also have the tutors. You have Rodas as the the cohort manager. So I think if there's an issue, don't hesitate to uh, write a message and say, look, I need help. This is but beyond be more than that you have to describe what did you what's the issue you're facing with screenshots if possible what have you tried and diagnose the issue as well as possible okay yeah how, how is group work going for you Mubarak? uh uh comparing to the last one i'm enjoying it this one is so good what I happened like last it. time is and is uh, it because you could make your own team uh, maybe. And you, are you just uh, working with your friends? <laughs> Not really. Not Last really. Week, okay. So what's different? Uh, one of my members were uh, not active, and uh, one of my team uh, his PC crashed. So I was <laughs> the only one who is working on the project. But mm -hmm. now we all are working and uh, okay. working. Good. All right. Thanks. Let's go on. Let's go to Berhan. Good morning, everyone. I think this is the first day in this week that I'm going to give the stand up. So I'm going to say big what? hi. And <laughs> Why so only I, one time? Where have you been? Uh, actually, I had three exams in this week, final exams. So that's why. <laughs> okay. How did they go? Okay. Um, it was good, actually. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. How has the week been for you? Um, the week has been tough, but yesterday was magical. We were working, co collaborating, and also facing a lot of, lot of errors at the same time. But it was great progress. Like me and Mubarak were in the same team, and um, we tried to work on Lama two and try to um fine tune the model. But we faced the challenge in a way to integrate another tokenizer model, which means there is in Lama 2 model, there is it's it, there, there is a built-in tokenizer dot model file, which is the existing one. So we tried to change 
with our Amharic tokenizer uh, model, but still it's, it's facing an error. And uh, I would really thank the team if you could share us how to integrate into the existing Lama 2 model, um, how, to, how to add our own tokenizer into the existing one and uh, fine, -ten, fine -ten the model. Because is now there, it, 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 it. Is there anyone who can help with that? Is anyone. Can anyone help with that? Has anyone done that? Mm, I think we got about 17 people. We, we should find one at least. <laughs> so I'm, my request is if anyone can help with that, uh, and your request is to find a different tokenizer for the Lama 2 model, put your hand up. It's not about not finding a tokenizer. It's about we already have that tokenizer, but okay. it's like how to change the, the 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 default one, which is the default one uh, we get from the Llama to uh, from okay. the hugging face. It, mm -hmm. it already have its own tokenizer, and we yeah. went to change it into our own Amharic tokenizer, and that that was the problem. Okay. Has anyone has anyone solved that issue? No? Okay. So, Birhan, I would ask you to write that question on the Slack group. I don't know, Rudolf, have you solved that issue or are you just putting your hand up? No, I didn't yet have solved that issue, but I have an idea. Okay, uh, go ahead. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, what I think and um, for the data, if our data have been already tokenized by, uh, have been tokenized in Hamaric uh, using the same species, and embed. I think uh, once you are dealing with the Lama 2, you, you just uh, avoid the tokenization part because it has been already done. This is what I think. I don't know if I'm correct or not. But that is what I think. Yeah. So I would also suggest let's move the discussion to Slack. And then I think it's also, and if we need to tag the right tutors, uh, if you need to tag Yevabel, please do. Um, if if the whole group is stuck here, then ask for a call with uh, the tutors and with Yababel to see how we can solve this together. Um, there may not be an easy solution. I definitely don't have a solution, but it's a good sign if you guys are coming up and uh, you're at the point where we have to figure out what to do. So ask the question and let's find uh, let's get the right group together to solve it. Kirad, and then Rudolf. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, yeah, so uh, actually, two of my teammates already gave uh, their stand up. And you guys are all part of the same team? Uh, yeah, <laughs> me, Brian, and uh, Mo Mubarak. And on the, Who else is on your team? Because they should go next. And then we can just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just to make it full. Yeah, I think yeah. they are on the call. Yeah, maybe they will. So actually, me and Abil, uh, so we actually uh, divided the whole group into subgroups so me and Abin were working on another model so just to find to see which model would uh, perform best and Mubarak and Brahan was we are uh, doing one model so that was what uh, Brahan mentioned earlier so uh, uh, so uh, just as they said we have a, a blocker of uh, activating the instance uh, I think everyone uh, as we have seen, everyone I, is also having this prob problem, uh, so I think it, it will get fixed. But I have another problem, uh, another broker. Uh, I would like to ask everyone if they have uh, found any ads or re relevant ads from the Tigba channel, except the last of him, except the people from the last of him, except people from Group 6. Have they any, found any relevant ads from the Tigba uh, Channel. All right, so we have a question to the group. Can anyone answer that question? If you can, just use one of the reactions so that we know. So, Mikias, go ahead. Can you go for We were saying with the first 15,000 we we can't hear you very well, Mikias. Could you speak uh, louder, please? What about now? Can you hear me? It's it's better now. Yeah. Okay. So so far we didn't find any ads. Uh, more like uh, there was something like 
uh, what do I call like finding like missing people announcement and that's yeah, uh, that that kind of things, but we didn't find any ads. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find any ads from that channel and from mm -hmm. other channels as well, because uh, as you know, I, I think I've discussed this with some some of the members, but. Uh, this is because that uh, these ch channels tend to delete the ads uh, like in a day or in a half day because the businesses pay these channels to uh, to put their advertisements up for a, a defined time limit. So you could pay for an hour or you could pay for two hours or you, you, you could pay for a day, but you will not stay for, for forever. So since the data we have is not uh, like the instant data is not produced every day, but it's pro produced on the last day. So only the team from the last day could find re relevant ads. I'm not with my P PC, but I could show, show you or someone could show that you can only find ads from the last group, the, the last uh, IDs, the message IDs. So I don't know uh, if if anyone have found any ads, uh, it would be, uh, helpful to share but i don't think there is because i have to as i've told you only it's it stays up for a uh, some time it doesn't stay up for years or months or days so i think that's a big issue i also try to contact you Yab about it uh, so like uh, what do you suggest so my suggestion would be let's take it off the stand up but as i said to everybody the goal is uh, we need to document the issue and to say what you've tried. And if we need to get into a call, because uh, we are also learning as we go, and it could be that there's no easy solution to this, but I'm sure that there is a solution to this. So please put it on Slack and then work with the tutors, work with Rodas and with the Abubel as well to find a solution to this. Okay, we will. Yeah. Okay. And I just I just want to go back to uh, this in the context of being preparation for work as opposed to being training to get a degree or to get a certification. The things that you're facing right now are very similar to what you're going to face in the world of work. When your manager gives you a task, it's often and it'll be increasingly poorly specified. Uh, there may not be a, a clean answer. This is not calculus that there's a nice clean answer. Um, you may have to decide what am I going to focus on, what is a workaround, I could solve this but it'll take two weeks to solve perfectly but I can get 80% of the way there in two hours. And so these sorts of thinking and the approaches and reaching out to your manager and saying how do I solve this or what should I do, this is what I've tried, this is what I'm thinking I'll try, is exactly what you need to be doing. The person who gets to the world of work and says, dear manager, I'm stopped, I don't know what to do. Um, and I'm going to wait for you to tell me what to do. And until then, I am going to do nothing, will not get very far in their career. So I'm just going to say that again, the types of issues that we're facing, and we've had now three people from the for one group uh, ask relevant questions. It's good preparation for the world of work. And the right approach is to say, this is what I've tried. This is what I'm continuing to try to reach out and ask for help but recognize that there will likely not be a clean, clean, clean solution. You need to keep trying. Let's go to Rudolf. OK, thank you, Aaron. Good morning, everyone, once again. Good so um, I belong to group four, and <clears throat> we're trying to, to process our data. And uh, so far, what we have done is we clean the data. Uh, uh, for the tokenization, uh, one of the team members have done that. Uh, it is uh, uh, Yvonne, but actually, as you know, we we didn't we are not able to to have access to the server because she was working on the server. Uh, we hope that 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 one will be solved, and uh, otherwise, we will be we will we'll be going to 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 work on local and figure out how to do that. Uh, apart from that, personally, uh, my the issue I was facing was to download the um, the, uh, the, uh, the Gary logistic uh, model. 
I don't know really how to download this one. But I shall see downloading the Lama 2. And but uh, something is missing in that that one. The the file configure that JSON was missing. I don't know if uh, I missed something, but I don't think. But I don't know how others group the group of Mubarak and the Kerot. How did they uh, manage to to be training the Lama two? I guess they have already uh, all the files completed in the in, in what they have uh, downloaded. Uh, mine is not working because I missed that file one, so I don't know how to to do that. So this is uh, my my point. And if somebody knows how to download the the Gary Logistics uh, Gary Logistics model, uh, please uh, I want this person to help. Us. So that is. Yep. Okay. Great. So if anyone can help Rudolf, uh, make sure you reach out. Carrot, go ahead. Yeah, I think uh, you wanted to download the guide logistic uh, from Hugging Hugging Face, right, Rudolf? Yes, yes, from Hugging Face, yes. Yeah, it just works like Git, you know, like just like Git clone. I think there is a step by by step. I will share with that, but uh, it's just it's just like Git. Have you created your uh, Hugging Face account and co connected this with your local machine? Yes, I did that uh, yesterday. Do you mean uh, hanging face uh, uh, slide, uh, half and CLI uh, login? Uh, yeah, hanging face CLI login. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it just work, works like uh, Git from there on. So I will show, show you uh, if you want. Yeah, but, uh, okay. okay, definitely okay. after the meeting, we, we, yeah. can, we can do yeah, that. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay, Hussein has a question. If we could know the data section from the other groups, uh, Hussein, I don't understand your question. Sorry, Mubarak, go ahead. Okay, uh, I think uh, we didn't try the Gary logistics model, but uh, when I talked to other groups, they uh, tried it, and uh, that the on the they said uh, the version on the hugging face uh, may not be correct, so use on the git or something like that but still uh, they are facing the problem but what we are planning is not to use uh, their model but just uh, to use their tokenizer that is how we approaching it and even though uh, we are using the official meta lama 2 version uh, we are getting the config json file not found and <coughs> There is another model uh, who ha which has at the end minus HF, uh, and we are uh, we are planning to try it uh, after uh, our server started. Yeah. Okay, Abraham. Let's keep going. I, I, so I want to avoid getting into a deep technical discussion right now. What we can do at the end of the stand up is that people can stay on and ask questions. But let's get through the stand-up. I want to hear from everyone. I know it's useful to have these discussions, and this is part of why we want everyone to be here, to learn just by listening what other people are doing. And you can reach out to that person and say, OK, I heard you say ABC. Can you teach me how to do it? But let's get through the group. Abraham? OK, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, just to give a little uh, update from our side, uh, we are from group i'm from group five and uh, my team and i have been able to accomplish some of the tasks for the project uh, yesterday we've been working on a few of them we've been able to uh, clean the data uh, we've been able to label them working on the labeling as well as we speak and also we have been able to complete the rag uh, the pipeline of the rag uh, side of that we're, we're we're working on a few ways to uh, better label the data and also uh, we're, we're we're looking forward to fine tune the model today so we'll be progressing a bit more today and uh, for blockers we haven't had any for question uh, we would I would like to ask uh, we were we were told we were going to be provided for the campaign and uh, the product information for the specific ads uh, I would like to ask how's that about how's that going about 
thank you. I don't have any information on that. I don't know, Rodas or Tutors, if anyone can answer that question. Can you repeat, uh, please? I didn't hear the last part. Okay, uh, for uh, for the RAG part, we were told uh, we would be getting or receiving a, a brand or uh, product specific information and campaigns. Uh, so that we can generate better ads in the end. So uh, Yabbal told us we would there, that would be provided to us. I was, I was just going to ask how is that going about? Okay, I'll make sure to ask Yabbal and also uh, Nasnail will be leading the next session, so he will definitely have answers for you. So uh, yeah, I'll also make sure to tell him. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I think we're going to have 10 minutes at the start of the next Q&A. Uh, sorry, at the next tutorial, and that'll be set aside for Q&A. So one can always ask Natal uh, questions there. So let's keep going. We want to hear from everyone. There's a bunch of people we haven't heard from. So let's put our hands up. And I'd also like to hear how people are feeling. Are we feeling energetic? Are we optimistic? Are we feeling on track? What's the What's the temperature in the room? So who's next? Otherwise, I'm going to call on people, but I want everyone to speak. So we'll go to Abdul Hamid. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Yeah, very well. So uh, like yesterday, we were trying to load the Gary Logistics model and uh, like look into the core, like how they pre-trained their model and how they fine-tuned it. Uh, we are really trying to uh, have the model working on our instance, but we weren't able to actually download the model and we are just confused with which steps we should take to um, have the model working like have the model at least to the stage where uh, the article about the Gary logistics mentioned uh, in which they interacted with a uh, visit in Amharic so we are kind of stuck on in that we'll be trying our best to have that uh, work or figure it out but if not maybe someone from the team can show us like how to exactly download the model and then uh, have it at least uh, at, at the stage where the Gary Logistics article uh, mentioned it. So yeah, that's my update, our update actually for the group. And how how's your optimism? So you didn't answer my question. <laughs> um, I know it's easier to talk about rags. <laughs> yeah, so, so today is Friday by the way, so tomorrow is the submission day. Um, we are kind of uh, like uh, feeling a bit rushed and uh, somewhat uh, like uh, like uh, actually it's the same like any other week on Friday it will be like uh, tomorrow is the submission date like we, we should get this done uh, and then Saturday comes and then we'll have something by the end of the day at least that looks like it works or maybe it works mm -hmm. so I think it's the same like any other week however uh like if you can't really get this to work get the model to work maybe it may be different from any other week so i'm not exactly sure what i'm feeling but like that's what i'm feeling so you haven't really answered the question but <laughs> maybe that's too existential for today but can, can if you had to decide binary option optimistic yes optimistic no optimistic 50 percent no yes that's not this is not <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> You're violating the law of binary. There's no 0 0.5. <laughs> I'm not really sure like what I what I'm feeling right now. Okay, but Maybe. make a choice. Make a yeah. choice. Make a choice. Let's go with uh 0 0.4. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> can somebody please do a tutorial on binary for Abdul Hamid? <laughs> yeah, one or zero? Um, uh, okay, she, uh, let's go with one. <laughs> okay, good. That's, uh, that'll, that'll serve you well when you want to get into a relationship with somebody. You can't say, you know, I'm 50% sure that I'm interested in. So please. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Who, who's next? We want to go through the whole group. Abdul Hamid is feeling optimistic. So I want to hear how people are doing, right? We don't need to get into deep technical details. We want to hear from every group. 
The point of the stand-up is to practice speaking. When you get to the world of work, you're going to have to present uh, what you're doing, and in many places, it's every day. So we're going to, uh, if you don't put your hand up, I'm going to call it. AIM. Uh, good morning, Aaron, and good everybody. Yeah. Uh, Abramid and myself are in the same team. How's your so, optimism? Are you also? On my side, uh, not good. Uh, I'm down. Uh, You're on a zero. Your optimism is zero. Yes, to be honest. Okay. Um, we were doing great. We did the, even the um, uh, cleaning, uh, tagging, uh, etc. But when it comes to um, download the model and uh, try to retrain the the model with uh, unsupervised data. I mean, uh, the first thing we need is to pre-train pre it before we fine tune it. So that process was hectic. Uh, there is no, uh, 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 how can I say it? There is no a uh, one way flow that we could find uh, in the documents or in the internet. When we find something, something will be missing. Uh, those stuff kind of make us down. But today we will we will try our best to fix those. And yeah, thank you. OK, so what's your strategy to feel optimistic again? And I'd like to see hands go up while AI uh, teaches us how to get optimistic again. He's, he's an experienced man. So what are you going to do? How do you bring yourself up? Uh, I think this morning, one of our teammates, uh, Magnus, has kind of plan that seems good. So mm -hmm. we're going to follow that and try to get it up and running. Yeah. What if you, what if, what about going for a walk or getting away from your computer? Go for a run. Have you tried that? Uh, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> I only, you, you can't I walk. only go out for a walk after, yeah. after <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't leave my room. Or, yeah, yeah. Well, Only after six. Are you in prison? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll go out now, just for five minutes. <laughs> okay. I mean, just consider whether it's worth uh, spending an hour or two being not motivated, or investing half an hour go for a walk have some nice uh, fresh air and maybe yeah. eat something. And wouldn't you feel better coming back energetic and motivated and optimistic? Yeah, yeah, I, I will do that. Okay, I'll hopefully, hopefully your prison guards Thank allow you. you to do this. But uh, <laughs> I'm curious about your situation Thank when you. you say you can't. Okay, who's next, guys? Let's go. Okay, I'm going to call on people because you guys are not putting your hands up. We're going to go to Fanuel. I'm going to write it here just so there's no escaping. Uh, so we'll go Abdul Rahman, Fanuel Abdul Rahman. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, can you hear me? Yeah, very well. Go ahead. Uh, so for my progress so far, uh, I've been, you know, tasked with the team to do the front end and back end connections and also create some UI elements in the front end and, you know, trying out simple RAD for the system. So I've been doing that. Uh, so far, and it works. Uh, we also have been, you know, meeting regularly, as you suggested, and we haven't missed a stand up uh, any day so far. And our team leader was, you know, very active in trying to communicate with us and trying to figure out things when we had issues, even though we're meeting daily. But in between those, like if we have issues, we also connect to Slack in our private channel. So that's been going good. Uh, so my blocker so far is I've been try I've been trying to connect with my instance, but I haven't been successful. And I've also communicated the other bit, and he suggested that we try to fix it with this morning's tutorial. So I think after that it will be fixed. Uh, other than that, I'm kind of optimistic about this week, but 
since I haven't been doing the model training part, I feel a bit less talk about that. But with our last next discussion, we have decided to pull more resources into that part of the process. So I'll be, you know, you know, I'll be more involved in the training of the model part for today. So Are you learning something this week? I am. I am. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I, I, the part that I don't really understand is if if people are learning and they have support, you're you're working on live instances, you have a team, you have tutors. Why wouldn't you be optimistic, right? Remember why you're here. You're not here to get a grade or a certificate. You're here to pick up understanding, skills, knowledge, ideas, and if you're achieving that at a pace that you feel comfortable with, then I would really encourage you guys to uh, to feel like you're on the right pathway. Um, yeah, you're right. But we always have this idea in our heads that we'll be, you know, making some progress at some time. So when we don't hit that, we but might what's, pro a bit what, what, what's progress, right? What's what? What progress are you expecting? You know, like the training the model to some part and getting a reply, or you know, progressing the project to some extent and all that. And sometimes it might not work out, so that's why we feel mm -hmm. done, especially mm -hmm. in Friday. Keep your eyes on the two-year plan, right? So if you worry too much about the two-minute plan or the two-hour plan, then you you see the hills in front of you. But if you keep your eyes a little bit further out and you see the progress that you're making, then I think, uh, I hope that you feel optimistic. And one of the reasons that I keep asking this question, I forgot to ask the first people, is as tools get more and more powerful, the one thing that's not going to change and becomes more and more important is our individual attitudes. So if you are not hungry, rested, optimistic, it doesn't matter how good ChatGPT is or how good the model is or how good the server is, you're not going to use it. So keeping ourselves healthy, hungry, and optimistic becomes increasingly important for us to be able to use the tools that are at, that, that are at our disposal. So an analogy would be back in the day, if you had to, before there was the internal combustion engine, if you had to push a cart or you had to ride your horse, you just had to show up and be physically active. But now you just have to drive the truck, but you have to be able to focus and to want to drive the truck and to be ready for the long distance journey in front of you. You don't need to be physically, anymore, but that mental strength becomes more important. And I think for each of you, as you become knowledge workers, showing up to work every day and being ready to learn, to discover, to ask good questions becomes uh, it's much more of an internal thing rather than a question of how strong are you, how fast are you, how much do you know? It's it really becomes more and more internal. We had a meeting of our technology technology advisory committee this week, and interest. We also had one last week. A very interesting point that they made, two members made, is they started to say when they hire, they care less and less about what people know and what they can do. They care more and more about how curious people are. How good are they at asking questions? Because they know that with the access to the tools that we have today, the amount that you know becomes less important. But it becomes harder to select the right type of person. And we're also now going to be for cohort B, which is going to be launched on Monday. We are changing our recruiting approach to be less focused on knowledge and more focused on um, curiosity, hunger. Is, does somebody really want to do it? Because that's the one thing that no uh, no model, no GPT, no tool can replace, the sort of hunger and wanting to do it. So I'll stop my lecture uh, and go to Abdul Rahman. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, for the beginning song, <laughs> uh, it was uh, breathing someone uh, I don't know, maybe her brother or her husband. Uh, sorry, uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do it. Uh, uh, in, in the technical part, uh, I mean, Rodolf uh, team. So we are in this part, uh, we need to download the model. Uh, in myself, I feel uh, kind of overwhelmed and I feel I waste more the time trying to understanding uh the projects and tools uh and i didn't really make a uh, real progress so 
uh, kind of overwhelmed or I don't, uh, I can't describe my feeling now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's all. So I'm very happy to hear you say that because it shows that you're mature enough to recognize how you are. My advice to you, and this is something that my now wife and at that time uh, girlfriend, partner, not sure what to call her, uh, told me I was trying to do something new and difficult. And she made me feel better at the time by saying, look, you're trying to do something difficult. Will it change your life if it takes you an extra year to get into the uh, new university or the new program that you want? So I'm going to ask you the same question. If you're not able to get it done in one day, but it's going to take you an extra month or an extra week, do you think that's going to significantly change your life? Of course, of course. Uh, I think uh, if I have it the will. idea or... Uh, you have, a, you have uh, an extra have week of your life. Uh, what did you say? You have an extra week. If it takes you one more week to understand it or to learn it, that's yeah. okay, isn't it? Yeah. So don't 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 worry so much about it. If you don't, I mean, what is it? It's an arbitrary deadline that it has to be finished yeah. on Saturday. Completely arbitrary. We could have made this training double the time. Uh, I think. This is uh, me. Make, uh, make me feel better. <laughs> Yeah, it's look. So we have to be realistic here. The reason there's there's reasons why we had to stuff the training into a short period of time, but people are coming in with different levels of preparation. So if you're if you're quote unquote competing against somebody who's been doing this for two years and you're trying to learn it in a week, then be okay with it taking you an extra week or an extra two weeks or an extra month to learn. Most important is that you actually try and learn, it and you decide what you want to do and you do it. But if you're I wouldn't worry too much about these arbitrary deadlines. Don't, if you're not showing up optimistic, fix that first. That's my advice. Fanuel, I don't know if you have a comment on this, otherwise we would go on. Uh, yeah, so when you said about the time, it was interesting because like, why a week? Because like, it always is like a lot. So, we're optimistic on Monday and we plan out things. And usually, I think this sentiment is shared with everyone here. When it comes to Friday, we feel like we have done some progress, but we feel like we haven't done what we planned on Monday or you know, we haven't hit our target or something. So, could you elaborate on that? Why the week? Yeah, so there's, there's a couple of different reasons that come together. It's probably one week is maybe the least worst option that we could come up with. So there's a few things that we have to balance. One is we have to make it uh, financially viable, right? So we have a cost target and we want our cost to be less than two months of salary. So that means we can't make it into a one year program, which we could. There's enough material to teach. But if we were then to cost that out, it would be too expensive. So that's one. The second is a related question that we want to cover a lot of different material. And if we, let's say we made everything two weeks long, we would cover six topics and we wouldn't expose you to enough different material. The third is most importantly, most, most, most importantly, we want to be good at selecting people. And the characteristic which is hardest and most important and the best predictor of future success, we believe we're actually looking for four things. Uh, in every batch of intensive training, we look for four things. Work ethic, intelligence, which we can't measure, so we leave that to the side. We look for bias to action or bias to self-learning and contributions to the community. And so those four things, and let's say those three things, because we're not worried about intelligence, um, by making it a very, very, very intensive program and seeing who's able to keep up, we can very quickly distinguish who is going to be successful in the long term in the world of work and who is not. Um, and I can guarantee you that this, this sort of resilience that you're building now is going to serve you well um, when you get to the world of work because you're used to working hard. And when your manager or your boss says, look, we have this problem 
and the other per all the other people are lazy and they're like you know what oh man i want to go watch this next series or there's a good thing on TikTok. you guys are going to be ready to say actually i'm going to try that out so i the most important thing that we can show you is the culture and you have this culture within yourselves but this culture of i can figure this out i can get it done i'm not going to be lazy and recognizing that you're able to uh, achieve X amount X, Y, Z at this level. When we get to the supported job search phase, very quickly you're going to realize that you have broad knowledge, but we need to get that knowledge a little bit deeper. And so we're going to ask you to focus in on a couple of projects which you think are relevant for you. And that, by and large, will be where you're going to focus. So you'll know what the different tools are, you'll understand what a RAG is, uh, but those people who don't do generative AI and just want to do data engineering, hey, you know what? You don't need to know, uh, be an expert at running RAGs or using Lama too. So we feel like this is the least worst option, but it's a very, very, very good predictor of um, who's going to be successful. Very interesting point that I've learned is that people who are most successful are usually not the most successful because they are anything other than willing to focus completely on the one task at hand. What does that mean? It means that they have arranged their life in such a way that they have support in terms of food, in terms of a good place to work, they have people who are helping them, they've stopped doing other things, and I think that's the big distinguishing factor. So, yeah, I mean, it's uh, I can talk for a long time about this, but basically, I would encourage you guys to be realistic. This is not school. I mean, who cares about the degree that we're giving you? It, it, it matters nothing to anybody in the world. What's relevant is what you have learned and the projects that you can showcase and your ability to showcase that uh, to employers in the right way. But what matters even more deeply, I think, foundationally, which, which you're going to carry with you, is this knowledge that, you know what, I can work 60, 70 hours a week. I can work with people from other parts of the world. I can manage projects that don't work particularly well. I can figure stuff out and I can keep that up for three months. And that resilience and that knowing that you can go through that and that confidence that comes with it is a very, very, very unique uh, aspect. And that's, that's not, you know, it's not just a two month, a three month thing. That's, if you can keep that up over years, then I think that that will be useful for you, not only professionally, but also personally. So let's, let's keep going. Let's go to uh, Elias uh, Asamanu. Hello. I'm out of. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, uh, let me start with the group spirit. Uh, it's pretty much better from uh, than la the last one. I was with Mubarak, and I was the one who got my PC crushed, and I was struggling to contribute, even if I have active communication with him, but I was struggling with the technical stuff. But this time it's much better, and mm. uh, I have much better uh, group uh, group spirit. Uh, we have one brief daily stand-up at night, since we are going to work uh, most of the time at night, and we even set up Trello to track our progress. <laughs> we didn't use it as much as we planned, because we get stuck in one task and we forget about uh, the board, but we tried that. And about the technical stuff, uh, one team is working on data cleaning uh, part, and they are doing good. And as Fanuel has already said, he worked on back in, inter, inter, integrating back in and uh, front end with simple rack, and he managed to do that. And me and the other teammate is working to choose the right tokenization, and we have tried some. And we found one Amharic tokenization on tokenizer on Hugging Face. We tried that, but uh my, it's almost it's split almost words so i don't know if it that's good or not but that's uh on, on the technical side that's what we are now and i'm opt optimistic about the uh, our progress i think we can do it but today is very very crucial day since 
most uh, <laughs> since tomorrow will be and it won't be that effective so um, today's progress will tell a lot about our yep. end results excellent okay great abraham abraham Addis. uh good morning team good happy morning. friday happy friday so i'm from group five uh, already the other abraham shared uh, our updates just uh, to add on what he says uh we are also working on the front end part and also uh we had a slight confusion regarding the tigva data so uh we we, we, we couldn't find a relevant uh, add on the data and uh, we thought uh, we had some issue regarding our data cleaning but uh already kirod mentioned the reason and that's uh, a relief and uh, just to answer your question I feel uh, optimistic you know uh, uh, even though we did not make any significant project uh, 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 if we just keep the, the, the our, our, our if we keep the momentum the energy of our team uh, I hope we will have something to deliver uh, by the end of the time yeah. excellent great uh, Alexander. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, okay, I am from group uh, four. Uh, two of my teammates are uh, already shared our project progress. Uh, so far, even though there is uh, blockers, especially data labeling part and uh, fine tuning of LLM2, in our group, we have uh, selected. Uh, to fine tune LLM2. Uh, uh, so, such a task is uh, when we divide our tasks for uh, to be fast and complete the project on time. Uh, some of our teams are uh, concentrated on uh, data processing part, and some are uh, fine tuning part. Uh, Rodolf uh, is more concentrated on the fine tune part. Uh, as I he have raised the question about uh, the test and we have to try and understand the code structure and the working principles of LAMA2. But when you try to working on that, there's uh, blockers. Uh, even though I have uh, a question in my suggestion, some groups who have uh, good outstanding, uh, at least is, um, I have seen their progress who, who are from group three, uh, voluntary 12, as for leveling part uh, to go further uh, we are struggling to still leveling uh, the data uh, for our data processing teams uh, today and tomorrow we have a crucial day for us uh, even though we have in good progress uh, we need uh, much time as soon as possible, we are card and complete our project uh, on time. This is our progress. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Uh, Yvonne? Yvonne, are you able to speak? No, it's been in the chat for a while. So uh, we'll skip Yvonne and go to Mechtes. Hello, everyone. Good morning. So I think uh, Abdul Hamid and Yaya shared what we are up to right now. Uh, at the start, we were like doing as the time frame of our, uh, in the time frame. But as we started uh, labeling the data, we spend much more time beyond the expected time. So that's what uh makes us overwhelmed because the time is running so we need to do more on a fine tuning and modeling parts i think we come up with a wise plan to uh tackle this challenge and i believe we can do it by the end of the deadline how's your optimism yeah i'm really sure that we can make it. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, let's go to Daniel G, then Akram, Root, Nasrallah, Lilian, and that should take us to time. Hello. 
Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I am from uh, Group 5. Uh, as uh, my colleague previously explained it, uh, we were able to divide the task into three parts and uh, we gave uh, the priorities for the first task. So uh, we are very optimistic that uh, we will start training uh, our model, but uh, still we still we are just uh, pre-processing the data and uh, we we also able to just meet up frequently on the G meeting and uh, i i believe that we have a great team that's all thank you how's your optimism i would give it uh, one one excellent okay thank you thanks for sticking to the binary system i appreciate okay. it okay <laughs> I was Akram? talking about a, a superposition. <laughs> a superposition. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ekram? And then Yvonne will take you at the end. We'll add you on at the end. Uh, Ekram, is Ekram here? Uh, Ekram's going to type, and Beza has just left the meeting. So we'll go Nasrallah, Lilian, and Yvonne. Morning, morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, what, what was it? What do I need to speak up? My motivation. How do no, I so How's it going? What have you been working on? And the last question is, what's your optimism? Is it? Uh, and only two questions, only two answers, binary, one or zero. How's your optimism? Uh, okay. And so the question of the optimistic, I will avoid it because I actually don't like to have a high optimistic, no bad optimistic, and why not? It doesn't apply to me. So um, then uh, in terms of, I'm from group six. Um, uh, so also uh, I was looking over the, the whole project as the project manager of the team. And I think we're doing a decent job. Hopefully we could do some of, uh, implementations we planning on as the milestone we have to set it and we would like to achieve that by the end of today if, if that case go well then that would be awesome but if mm -hmm. it's not we're also having some technical issues in terms of accessing to the gpu so we are losing some times because we can't access to the aws server so it would be nice if 10x team actually make sure that part of the uh, that part of the project is actually flawless so that the team could work on it. Um, apart from that, yes, actually, um, it's going good. It's quite interesting. Um, um, I'm learning a lot of things on the side, but also a bit uh, anxiety about it. Um, I'm actually also busy with other matters those couple, um, this week and the week before it. I think this is the first time I'm speaking in a stand-up since, I don't know, one week and a half ago. So yeah, overall, the progress is good. I believe my team is doing a great job and a great uh, progress, but I would love them to do more so that we could finish it faster. How do you, how do you feel about being a project manager? Well, technically, I didn't know to be a project manager, we have to communicate a lot with a lot of the team members. Yeah. So uh, yeah, making sure that every team member is actually sync up or having issues, also you should take care of the team member if they feel comfortable or certain task. If it's not, then I have to move it to somebody else. Um, so, but I actually appreciate my team because they make the progress for me easier. Um, and then and, and I hope they and I hope we will continue like that until Saturday. Um, but one thing I learned is that I was actually communicating. I have sent more te text than I ever did the last six weeks yeah. on Slack for each team member. So yeah, a communication part is, is the is something that I'm seeing it as a project manager. It's very interesting. One has to stay on top and know what everyone is doing and make sure everything is coordinated. It's not a, you don't have to be the technical expert, but you do have to know something about everyone's uh, progress. And that's, that can yeah. be very difficult. Yep. 
that's actually one thing and also it's like it's a bit uh, weird when you create a google meeting and somehow people are waiting for you to start the the stand up by saying so how are you guys doing and is there anything else you could do and so on so it's so something that i usually didn't experience and this is the first time i'm experiencing it and uh, again as i said my teammates are making the job even easier and i really appreciate it if they're here I, I would love them to hear that excellent okay let's go to lillian and to yvonne we see ekram's comments as well lillian Uh, hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Am I audible, right? Very, yeah, very well. Okay. Uh, so, uh, our, I'm in group one. I'm with Mikias and Fanuel. They have explained our team progress very well. Uh, the approach that we are taking is like a divide and conquer. And so we divided the tasks. Uh, the task I was assigned was like the rug pipeline. And I have read on the vector, which vector database to use, how to embed it and, and stuff. And now I will be working with Binium to help fine tune the model with tokenization uh, and, and the others. And uh, I have also faced a blocker through my side because I was having a hard time uh, accessing the GPU from my PC. Uh, there was a connection timeout permission denied. I still didn't access it. And I we are working on it with my team to solve that problem. But so far, everything is going great. And my optimism is one because, uh, yeah, this week looks good so far. Thank okay. you. Great. Yvonne? Okay. So, good morning, everyone. I am in group four with Rodolf and Alex. Uh, okay, I can't really pronounce his name. I'm sorry. Yes, so they have already explained our progress. Rodolf is our leader, so he's our project manager. Uh, so far, we have handled the tasks. The tasks that I have been handling currently is downloading the model. I am currently downloading the Llama 27B model locally, and it is yet to finish. I started it earlier. Yes, so we want to download and tokenize and then fine tune. So that is what I will be doing. I will be dealing with today. That is the task I have been assigned. Yeah, so far we have been facing challenges. We have been facing bugs, but we debug as we go on. If one can't handle a task, it is passed to another person. Yeah, um, our enthusiasm, my team spirit so far is at one because I am learning new things. Yeah, and the more I learn, the more I get better. So yeah, that's from my side. Thank you. All right, wonderful. OK, so we have the next tutorial or the next session, which is a tutorial starting just now. Uh, the first 10 minutes are Q&A, so be prepared. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Stay optimistic. And my advice to you would be, it's, I mean, just optimism by its own, not, don't be stupidly optimistic, but try and see the truth of the situation that you're in and whether the, uh, this feeling of overwhelm or this feeling of worry or feeling of concern is actually well-placed. Is it uh, appropriate to the situation or is it rather just a feeling that uh, emerges and it should be suppressed? And what I always do uh, for myself is I find that if I'm able to project forward and know that I'm in the right direction, and then I try and teach myself not to worry about the speed. Um, I can control my direction, but speed is very hard to control. Um, I can control the effort that I put in, but I can't necessarily control the result. But I do control my direction. So that would be my advice to you. Please do not feel overwhelmed and try and see the truth of uh, where you actually are. So we'll stop there. We can stop the recording, and I think we go straight into the tutorial.